So some of you may already be familiar with Patricia Hernandez. She was featured in the Society of Professional Journalists at Airplay uh, as, a, as an example of an unethical journalist giving favourable coverage to friends, specifically a roommate, without disclosure. And she's written this uh, article about Fallout 4. It's, it's fucking so shit. It's pure clickbait, but it's also really poorly constructed. There's, there's no depth to it whatsoever. It's written by someone who does not understand what fucking role-playing games are. Uh, so she writes here, Fallout 4 has a ton of junk and it's stressing me out. Everything in the world of Fallout is now useful and that's exactly the problem. And, you know, she's talking about the, the fact that all the items uh, in the game can now be broken down into base components for the purpose of building settlements and for modifying weapons. And it's completely optional content. You do not have to touch this content. You can engage with it exactly as much or as little as you fucking want. You know, she's, she's writing here... Uh, she's agonizing over the decisions that she's making as she's going through the game, you know, um, could, uh, do I pick it up? How much is too much? How do I fight the impulse to take everything with me, just in case? And she's writing, I don't want to be a hoarder. Then don't fucking be a hoarder. Just because you can't fight your impulse to just pick things up. Uh, doesn't mean that this content uh, should not be included in the fucking game because I, I, I you know I love this fucking stuff it's great uh, let's see here you know I'll, I'll look at this fucking class handgun I've constructed it's fucking great so much cooler looking than the uh, the base um, 10, mil 10 millimeter handgun that you get at the beginning um, let's see the barrel Look how fucking cool the barrel is compared to the way it was before. It was this big clunky thing and now it's this big fucking class long thing like this. Um, and it's not just about the, 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 the aesthetics, you know, it affects the weight, accuracy, range, the fire rate, the damage. All of these things are affected by the decisions. Uh, and the, the, look at all the different materials they're made from, the, you know, adhesive, screws, wood, steel, rubber. All these things that you just find from random items, you know, uh, duct tape and tins and fucking ceramic bowls and all, all sorts of fucking things. Look at this fucking class rifle. I found a hunting rifle and I turned it into a fucking sniper rifle. How cool is that? You know, I, ju I just g I gave it a fucking long scope and it became a fucking class sniper rifle. It does 55 damage. It's great. It's fucking cool. Um, I have plans for this pistol. Look at this pistol here. Look, look at what I can do with this pistol once I have the right materials. You know, I, I can change this barrel into this. Look at that fucking thing. That's so fucking cool. Why would you deny other people this content just because you don't like it? It's, it's optional. You do not have to hoard. You do not have to hoard the junk if you do not want to. However, for the people that want to, the game will fucking reward them massively. Massively, you know, the, the whole point, role-playing. Role-playing is about several things. It's about world building, uh, character building, inhabiting a character of your own creation. Um, it's about choices, options, freedom. Play the game exactly as you want to play it. It's about, uh, you know, uh, uh, for example, Pathfinder, the, the, the role-playing game Pathfinder, is 575 pages long. It's, that's crazy, it's, it's comprehensive as fuck in order to give the player as many options, uh, w you know, as possible. Um, you can do as much or li as little settlement building as you want. Like, I've only done a little bit. I, I built this awkward looking fucking thing here. I'll have to get a settle settler kind of to go there. Um, I've built the, these kind of watchtower things. Um, there should be a settler here. I don't know where the fuck he is, but there should be one there. I, I assigned him to this point. Uh, and you can give them fucking weapons as well. 
people have been complaining a bit about our bed situation. The bed situation? They've been complaining. You have 12 beds, you have more than enough beds, you fucks. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know, she, she, it's just, her article is just a big whine. About, oh, I don't know what to pick up. Oh, I don't want to hoard. Oh, I get over encumbered. And if, yo, the thing is, is like, there's so many options for, uh, for w where to store your items. You know, I, I have three different settlements now. And the, the the material that is in the workshops in the workshop is shared between the settlements. Um, I can use my companion. Where the fuck he's went off to? Sometimes he just kind of vanishes on me. There he is. I can use this guy as my fucking mule. I could use you know I could use this guy as, as a mule. He used to have way more stuff, and then I ended up storing it. In one of my uh, settlements, so I can I can give this guy all my fucking junk and he'll carry it around for me. I can modify my gear. Let's see this shit. I can modify my gear. Deep pockets. I can give my gear deep pockets so I can carry even more fucking stuff. The, the game provides you options to kind of get around the fact that things car uh, you know junk will weigh so much and you'll be carrying around so much of it. If that's what the route that you want to go down, uh, you could get the strong back perk, so you can carry even more shit, or you could not engage with that whatsoever. You could make the decision of I'm not going to hoard. I'm just going to use uh, the, the the weapons that I find in the game. You can play it that way if you fucking want to. It's about choices. It's about options and freedom. That's what it's about. That's Bethesda's fucking philosophy. Todd Howard said, uh, let's have our cake and ice cream. Let's, you know, let's have fucking everything. Get everything possible in the fucking game. So the player can play it exactly as they want to fucking play it. If you want to avoid combat, put all your fucking sk skill points into stealth. Uh, and diplomacy. You know? It's so stupid. Um... I've only put a little bit of time into settlement building. I, I kind of planned for it to be a long-term goal. I eventually want to build a big-ass wall around this whole fucking farm. Because at the minute this farm is, is very vulnerable, uh, it's very open. You know, I've, I've built a couple of guard posts. I've built, uh, I've built this fucking shotgun turret. Um, but I don't think it's enough. They haven't been attacked yet. Well, when I first got to this farm, it was attacked by super mutants. And I'm not sure if that was scripted or if, or if that was kind of an emergent event in the game. I'm not sure which that was. So, uh, yeah, other than that, the settlements have not been attacked yet. Sooner or later, they will be attacked. And I'm not sure if it if that will come up at a point, at a certain quest, when that will start happening. Or... or if, if they're kind of emergent events that will just happen randomly. So I, I want to build a wall around the whole fucking thing. I've only just just started it, really. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough material to build another wall. Um, but I mean, you, you get my point. You can, you can do as much or li as little as you, as you fucking want. And it, her article is just a big fucking whine. I just don't understand how someone like this even has a job writing about games. I, I, I really... I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Um... Hi. How? No, I don't, I don't remember... I don't remember this. Does this open like a big gate? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I didn't actually realize that... that so I've I've like built two gates without realizing that's that's that what there was I was doing. I just thought I was building like an extra big wall. <laughs> so right. I want to build a wall around the whole fucking place so that if it does get attacked by super mutants again, everyone doesn't die. I don't want everyone to die. I want to survive. Despite fucking survival. So of course you're going to fucking construct things out of all the random shit because that's what you would fucking do in a survival game you know it's 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 like everything that was in the game state of decay uh 
times ten. It's like inhabiting something like The Walking Dead, where you want to construct uh, something that's safe for people. I love that. I absolutely love that. I don't know why someone would choose not to engage with that, because it's like, oh, I don't know what to pick up. Oh, there's too many things. There's too many options. I want less options. What's a role-playing game? Uh, it's fucking so facile and moronic. It's, it's so stupid. Look at this wasteland. It's great. Just the freedom to do, go in any direction and play the game exactly as you want it. That's, that's beautiful. That's what you fucking want.